the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. You know what? I'm gonna try to stay positive. But first, a quick history lesson. Even after the disaster that was Spider-Man 3, there were still talks of doing a Spider-Man 4. They even got far as of naming a villain, or casting a villain, in John McAvoy as the Vulture. Now, Spider-Man 4 was kind of doomed from the start because of the poor reception to Spider-Man 3, but there was some disagreements between Sony and Sam Raimi, the director of the Spider-Man original franchise. Those disagreements included the release date and, I mean, the script. The script was pretty bad, reportedly. They needed some extra work or a complete redraft of the script, depending on who you believe, Sony or Sam Raimi. So, Sony decided to reboot the franchise, and they did it with Mark Webb as their director. This would not be a good one. Now, this Spider-Man movie franchise would just have a lot of bad plots, including the obsession with Spider-Man's parents, creating every villain through Oscorp. But the main problem with this franchise was the darker tone it took. Now, don't get me wrong, there's some great... Spider-Man stories that take a darker tone, Craven's Last Hunt and the, na the Night Gwen Stacy Died are two that come to mind. But Spider-Man is literally called the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, so his movies should have a lighter tone. Also there was the fact that all this movie franchise tried to do was set up the Sinister Six. They should have just titled these movies Spider-Man, Sinister Six, like they did in the comics. Anyways, I'm going to try to be positive, but... These movies are really bad, so it's going to be hard. So, The Amazing Spider-Man had Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Emma Stone as our Gwen Stacy. They switched up the love interest this time. From MJ to uh, Gwen Stacy. Dennis Leary as George Stacy. For those who don't know Spider-Man lore, uh, he is a police commissioner who is also the father of Gwen Stacy. Solid Field as our Aunt May. Kimball Scott as our Richard Parker, who is uh, Spider-Man's father. Martin Sheen as our Uncle Ben. Ryze Ifsla, I can't pronounce that right name right, uh, as Dr. Connors, aka the Lizard. Now, what do I think of this movie? I do agree with most people that it is a bad movie, but I don't agree with everyone that everyone thinks it's just straight garbage. Looking at you, Spider-Man 3. Two of the scenes I think that kind of make this movie at least somewhat worth watching, is the crane scene and the scenes where Peter discovers his powers. The movie, the origin stuff in this movie is kind of stupid, but I guess you kind of have to do that if you're going to do an origin movie. The thing that really kind of ruins this movie is the portrayal of the lizard. Now, in most Spider-Man media, the thing that makes Kurt Connors slash the lizard compelling as a character and as a villain that he kind of has a dual set personality. There's a scientist who is a family, and there's the man eating lizard person. In this movie, he wants to turn everyone into a lizard person. Also, he looks like this. On to Spider Man 2. The Amazing Spider Man 2. Ugh. This one stars Jamie Foxx as Electro, as his main villain. I say main villain very loosely, because Boy, does this movie has a lot of villains. I counted five. 